I am going to speak about a special book by the Charles Darwin himself. And the book is called The Descent of Man. Who was Charles Darwin? Why was he so important? He was like a very great, great scientist. 200 years ago, he was like doing some research. He was also asking himself, from where did humans come from? How did we evolve into species that we are today? Before Darwin, they all thought that different species are unconnected, unrelated and unchanged from the moment of their creation. But then Darwin was like, wait, what if all the species are related between each other? All the species evolved from the same ancestors and with variation and different environments, different traits, the struggle to survive. Individuals that were most adapted to an environment survived and evolved. So in this book, he mainly focuses on human as species and how we evolved to what we are and what makes us different from the other species. We're gonna discuss that now. Firstly, he mentions that we have many anatomical similarities with different species, which can be the evidence that maybe we have the same ancestors as uh, chimpanzee and dogs and cats. Embryos look very similar with different species. A human embryo looks very similar to the one of a monkey and also with a dolphin which is very interesting. The first species were the ones that lived in water and then they came to the land and to the sky. He goes by saying, but we are kind of different to other species and let's look at these differences now. I just built this thingy on the wall so we can uh, uh, communicate. <laughs> Okay, so the first is reason. Humans know about the cause and the consequences of doing an action, reasoning our actions based on like previous experiences. He mentions and counter example kind of like, oh, but some animals also have a reason in their thinking. They observe that these dogs, when they are pulling the sleds on the thin ice, they spread out, redistribute the weight and they don't sink. And that's like, how, how do they know that? There must be a reason behind it why they are doing it and they know it. So yeah, it's interesting. Or is it just instinct? And is instinct a part of a reason? I don't know. Okay, second thing is possession. We humans know uh, what our possessions are. This pen is my pen, right? And this hoodie is my hoodie. And like we have a feeling of a possession. They also observe monkeys that are like bringing certain rocks that help them uh, open their food to throw them in their enemies and stuff like that. And they have a feeling of possession of this rock, like, oh, this is my rock. Of course, uh, Charles Darwin mentions language. He says that humans with evolved language, their thinking and reasoning also evolved. Without a thought, there is no words. And without words, there is no thought. Next thing he mentions is imagination. Imagination is very great in human species. We can like imagine like some abstract stuff. Also dogs and cats are dreaming, which kind of says that, oh, they also have imagination probably. Memory, we can remember stuff and we know like, oh, I saw, I've seen this before. Oh, I can memorize all the, all the material for my school subject. But then elephants memorize very well. And also a dog, the owner of the dog was like absent from uh, that place where the dog lives for like five years. And then when he came back, the dog recognized him. Okay, next thing is jealousy. Humans can be jealous, which means that their emotions are very much evolved. You can see that by dogs as well, because they're like jealous if the owner is like petting another dog. Uh, that means that animals and also humans are capable of loving someone but they also feel the need to be loved curiosity so we as humans are very curious which helped us survive so all these traits are the results of evolution individuals that had these kind of traits could survive and these genes were passed on you know genes like this dna i even wrote it on the wall with curiosity you could like be curious about a 
certain event like weather or like why is it sunny now why is it cloudy uh, the other day why is it so cold how can we build a shelter they also observed curiosity in deers another very big difference between humans and other species might be obligation so yeah if someone tells us oh you have to clean the dishes you have to do the homework we kind of feel that we actually need to do that right and we know what obligation means to us right and that kind of helped us survive as well because we needed to be ob obedient to our parents for example and adults and if we weren't we probably didn't survive we want to get praise and we fear punishment we are kind of dependent on approval um, of other individuals in the clan for example because if we get punished for something we might be left out of the clan if we don't do what we are obliged to do and we want to get appraiser because that kind of keeps us involved in the community and we're like oh we are valued and we are accepted in this clan so we can survive with them because we are dependent on them so we want to be we want to get appraised right and that helped us survive and that's why that's how we are today, right? And that's why we care so much about other people's opinions, maybe, right? Because otherwise we fear that me, we might be left out of it, right? And we are social species. We have this social instinct. If we help each other, we can survive better. So I help you and you help me. And that's how um, morality also forms. We want to act towards others the way we want them to act towards us. So that's why uh, we are um, being kind and being accepting and uh, helping others. If someone helped another one with like hunting, that guy could help uh, the previous one with growing vegetables. Each one of them has different strength and together as a clan, as a community, as society, we help each other and we survive the best as we can. And the biggest trait that connects all this together is empathy. With empathy we can kind of feel what other person feels right and that's how we can help them we can get our minds into um, the feelings that they are experiencing and then we can understand them better and we know how to help them and that's how we form better social skills a mother feels empathetic to a child a friend in the army like feels empathy towards someone that has like injured leg and then he's helping them and that's how we survive right and that's how everything connects together. Yeah, I'm such a nerd writing all of these things on the board as well. And in the end, Charles Darwin mentions that the species that had harder circumstances and harder environments in terms of like weather, shelter, food, those species needed to think more, be stronger, find new ways to survive. And these ones improved more changed more and were better in the end of like the evolution that's why mm, having a harder environment can keep you growth because in today's society it's like very comfortable in the western world we uh, tend to have like comfortable easy kind of lives like we don't have to worry about uh, hunting like a uh, a dinner for today or like growing potatoes for the next winter but we just go to the shop and we buy stuff of course we need to take care about the money but still like we have uh, things that we need kind of for our survival but that can make us um, go down in our improvements and in our kind of evolution and uh, changing ourselves for the better if we kind of make our circumstances like harder for example school right school makes you harder like you need to do exams um, and you need to study harder and you're like oh but this is so hard but if it's hard then it means that you are improving yourself and evolving to a to achieve a better person of yourself right so it's good and even if you go to a fitness and like you feel like the weight is like very hard on you but that means that you're improving in today's world we kind of need to force ourselves to improve because the circumstances are kind of too easy right? maybe for example in china 
they have a lot of competition in education and like getting into university because there's so many of young people that want to um, achieve something right each one has to work harder and then each one is so much better and that's why maybe china is rising so much more now so we can apply what darwin says in this book in today's world and all of these traits that helped us survive we can think about them and acknowledge them my first book review so yeah charles darwin a very good book i recommend the read uh, and yeah make sure you keep dreaming keep be being curious and uh, keep evolving see you mia